Hello there, my name is Corey. I'm going to be kind of showing you a couple things here with E3. Um, start off a little bit by the interface, user interface, as well as then getting into kind of how to create parts. Um, so I've already opened up E3 and I'm in the database editor here. You can tell that by looking up here in the top and you see the .dbe, which is the database editor. Um, you can get several of these windows up here um, and lay them out how you want. So if you're under view, um, you're going to need the components, the symbols, the MISC, and the models. Um, those things for sure, as well as this database editor here. Um, and I kind of have mine set up like this. So you can see here's my component, symbol, MISC, and model. Um, if you wanted to drag them around and make them a little different, you can kind of grab it you can see how it gives you these little arrows here where to place it so if you wanted it on docked on this bottom of the window um, it would go there if you wanted it docked to the left see that this is going um, to this blue shaded area if you wanted to drop it back to where I had it see now you get another area here just for this guy um, and then they have these windows up here which are for your entire E3 windows you can park them on there um, but I'm going to leave mine like where it was set you can also do it tabbed like I have here so right now I kind of drag the component table out um, I want to drag that back in here if you drop it in the middle when it gives you the option you can see it drops it into tabs here and you can drag it to where you want so that's kind of your basic setup um, when you're all done and have everything where you have it or would like it you can go under here under workspace configurations and create a new one if you want um, where it can actually save where you have all of these windows um, if you have certain buttons and stuff set up it doesn't always save everything unless you kind of drop it into a saved workspace configuration if you're bouncing between two screens, if you're on a laptop and you go to a, a workstation, I'd recommend setting up ones for a single screen and ones for multiple screens. Um, since I'm doing recordings here, I'm going to try and keep everything on one screen so you can see what I'm doing. Um, this messages windows comes in handy. It'll pop up little information about parts. Um, if there's errors that pop up and then this preview window as well. Uh, so that's the basic user interface. Um, I'll kind of go through and give you a little heads up of what some of this stuff is in the next tutorial and then we'll get into creating some parts.